Hello, thank you for watching this video. So in this video we're doing question 4 of November 2021 question of mathematics paper 1. And this is question 6 which is our uh, uh, functions. So I'm going to read question 6 statement and then proceed to answer the question that follows. So let's go. A graph f of x is drawn below. Here is our graph f of x. B is a point on F and we are keeping a point B to be on F. So it's straightforward. We are given this uh, log function here, uh, f of x equal to log 4 base x, and we are keeping a point B on F. Then question afterwards. Calculate the value of k. So they want us to find the value of k here. This is what they want us to find. So, <clears throat> in order to find the value of k, k is the x coordinate of is the x value uh, of our log function. So, what we say, we say, okay, f of x is equal to log four is k x, right? Our f of x there is two, so we have two here. Is equal to log Four x. What is our x there? Our x is k here. So we are trying to find the value of k. So how do we do this? Say so, okay, two is equal to. You know what this is? It's log k over log four, right? Then you cross multiply. This time this, you have two log four is equal to log k, right? So, in a situation where you have your 2 here and your log inside, which this 2 was originally a power of this 4, right? So, which is this was log 4 raised 2, which is called log k. You know this from your exponent laws, which means you have log 16 is equal to log k. So, which means this is exactly that. Therefore, k is equal to 16 because you can see you must put a log this or the log that so if you have 16 then that is 16 so your k is equal to 16 we are done so for which values of x is f of x right less or equal to 2 and less or equal to minus 1 find the values of x for which this thing is true that's what they are saying so you say, okay, what do we have? We have negative 1 is less or equal to, what is f of x? f of x is log 4 base x less or equal to 2, right? What do we say? Say, okay, this is negative 1 less or equal to log x over log 4 less or equal to 2. Then you multiply throughout by log 4, so you have negative 1, log 4, less or equal to log x, less or equal to 2 log 4, right? Then, similar situation to this here. If you have this thing, the number in front of this log of yours, which is this number here was the power of whatever that is inside, same applies to this side as well. So that means we have we had log four minus one less or equal to log x less or equal to log four is two. So you have log one over four less or equal to log x less or equal to log sixteen, right? So what you have obvious now that your x is less or equal to 16 greater or equal to 1 over 4 so your x is an element of 1 over 4 to 16 so this situation will be true for this x on this way we're done here to go to 6.3 
Write down the equation of the inverse of f in the form of y squared. So we have f of x is equal to um, log for base x. So they want us to find the inverse of f. How do you find the inverse? If you reflect upon the line y is equal to x, your x and y become y and x. So x and y swap around. So you have y is equal to log 4 is x, right? To apply this transformation, you swap x and y, your x comes here, your y comes there. Then you have x is equal to log 4 is y, right? And then what do you do? You say, okay, I have x is equal to, what is this? This is log y over log 4. Cross multiply. This times this, x log 4 is equal to 1 log y. Right? Which is not, don't even need to write. So this thing here, which means it was up here. So we have log four of x is equal to log y. Therefore, this is equal to that. Um, four base x is equal to y. This is your inverse of f. Six point four. So, for which values of x is x times the inverse less than zero, right? So, your inverse, if I can try to plot a rough sketch of our inverse. I'll say our inverse is something like this. I'll say something like this. So, our inverse. Uh, is our inverse is f prime at x is always greater than zero because zero is the horizontal asymptote so it will always be positive so if they are saying find the values of x for which x times the inverse is less than zero right what that means is since this one will always be positive, this will, the product of the inverse and x will be less than zero, where x is less than zero, where x is negative. To achieve this product being less than zero, you need at least one of them to be negative or to be less than zero. This one, the inverse, is always positive as you can see. So the, to achieve this, you will achieve this product less than zero if x is less than zero. And x is less than zero here. After this, all this, all the side, your x will be negative in this direction. Just exclude this. All this will your x will be less than zero. So it will be all this it will be it will be all this interval. What is that interval? That interval is x is an element negative infinity to zero. Or you can just say x is less than zero. Right? Or just say x will take the negative part of the real numbers. Which is negative real numbers this way. So that 